Okay, I want you to find your rabbit picture, the practice drawing that we did before with just the pencils and the shapes, and bring that out because we're going to practice with our uh, chalk pastels on that drawing. Here's mine, my little rabbit scratching his face with his paw. Remember, we've got the large circle, the medium circle, and the small circle. And then we added other shapes for the rest of his features. Now we're going to try to add um, our chalk. Just for So what color should we make our rabbit? Typically they're gray, but I don't feel like gray today. I'm going to make a pink rabbit. Pink bunny. So when you're going to add chalk to your um, picture, I want you to use the flat side and find the large shape. Go ahead and do that on yours. Don't color it in, just outline it with the flat side of your chalk. Okay. Find your tissue, wrap it around your finger so that you get kind of a pencil point. And now I want you to blend that circle. So that you have uh, most of your colors on the outside of the circle and it gets lighter and lighter as it goes in the center. Don't color across, don't blend across because that's not the shape. The shape is circle, so you want to follow the circle. Okay, I'm going to do the same to the medium circle. I'm going to, I could change colors, but I think I'm going to make my whole rabbit pink. Medium circle, follow the shape of that circle. I'm overlapping the big one. My tissue goes around my finger. And there I have my medium circle. You want most of the color again around the outside of the circle with a little white spot in the middle. Um, follow the circle. Do not blend across the paper. And then I'm going to do the same for his head. Outline the circle, or in this case, it's an egg shape. Take my tissue and blend. Looks pretty good so far. All right, now we're going to do the same for the rest of the shapes. Foot, his tail. Now, the foot's pretty good size. I think I can still get my finger in there. Tail's getting smaller. I'm going to try one of my Q tips. <clears throat> and the little foot. Small. I'm going to use a Q-tip. The ears outline first. This time I'm going to pull it in. Other ear. And then I'm going to give him a nice dark eye. Okay. So I want you to practice with that on your rabbit. 
See if you can get the blending to be really nice. See if you can find those shapes and those um, outlines. Uh, try the tissue, try the Q-tip, so that you can compare and how well they work for you in either case, where you need to get smaller, where you can get uh, use a little bit bigger on your finger. And I'll come back to you in a couple of minutes.